Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Pocket Edition. This is I think episode 4, yeah episode 4 or 5. <clears throat> and today we're just going to make sure we're going to start building our armor. So I think I'm thinking about going to the mine. The mine that I had set up quite a while ago. It was, it was near my house but I don't really know if I can find it or not. Oh so sorry guys if my voice sounds a little bad just because I'm sick. And that kind of sucks. And I'm still trying to make videos. I'm trying to make sure that I have a video up every day. But as I'm sure you guys saw, I, I didn't have a video up every day. Though it was my goal to have well, at least one video up every day. But at least since today is Veterans Day. I have to say thank you to veterans, and if you know a veteran, tell them thanks. Because they, they fought hard for our country. So I probably don't need much. I already have wood and coal with me. I really don't, I really don't need too much. You know what? I think I might have left a lot of tech torches in my house. Let me go just pick some up really quick. And then I'm going to try to spend the entire video inside the mine until I have enough to make a full set of my my pig is my only roommate in here now. Wait. Yeah, all I need is a hat. I'm really low on resources. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go get some more wood first. And I lowered the volume down a lot lower because it would be hard for you guys to hear me, but I think we can go up a little bit. This is just my test. Um, once I upload the video, I'll probably review the video just to see how um, you guys hear the, the game noise. But I have it for the most part. It's not muted. But I lowered it down a lot. Today I tried filming the first episode of my faction series, which would be on computer. But a lot of things went wrong. Hopefully I could have everything fixed in a, pretty soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow or as late as next week. I'm not really sure because there's a lot of... Well, glitches out a lot. My computer seems to like Roblox, but it doesn't... It doesn't care at all. It doesn't give a care for it on Minecraft. But yeah, for the most part, I've got a lot of positive feedback on this. On this series, um, now the first episode I should have I should have done trial series, since I wasn't really sure if it, if I was gonna do it or not. Like I barely made up my choice to do it after all. And I know that Minecraft's a popular game, but not not only that, I also be, I also will be trying out um, Terraria since I heard that game's pretty cool too. And I'll try out definitely all sorts of video games. I'm going to do my best to do all the games on request for you guys. So if you guys have a request for me to do, I will definitely do it. Like as soon as I have the money or something, then I'll get down to it and start I'm making videos on things. Like whenever I choose on whether to make a video on something or not. Normally it's whether or not I like it or if I think other people will enjoy it. I mean, and of course, like if the game is fun. Like I said, I always ask myself, is this game fun? Do you think other people will like the game? And then if I think so, then I make the game. I just, I, I download the game and I do it. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna probably gonna start building like a small little living area down here, except that I don't have wool to make a bed. That's the only bad part about this. But I already found iron. I went in a bunch of farther to hopefully find diamonds and get full ge full iron armor. So my goal is, and hopefully, I can make myself some more iron tools. I'm trying really hard not to get lost, but I oh. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, my battery's low. Oh well, this video won't be too long. I saw that creeper. You can act like nobody saw you, but I did. My God, that creeper's bloated. Come at me, bro. Too late. Let me make sure I have a full bridge up here. Oh, look at that. There's more iron. And I'm also going to need more coal, too, in the future. So whenever I smelt things and cook, cook food that I find. But hopefully from this mining trip, I'll be able to get enough cobblestone to make some more changes to my farm. And the next video, I think, will be rounding up animals and fixing up the farm a little bit. Now, I've seen some pretty cool apps so that you can make your single-player server multiplayer. I'm still considering it as of right now if I wanted to add anybody into this. But I'm definitely thinking about it. I really hope I don't get lost like I haven't found anything too good just to be lost forever. No, this is just a dead end. This wasn't my first trail that I wanted to follow. I wanted to go on this other part that was part of the ravine. But I went this way instead. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, but also I constantly check um, my YouTube channel page. And I noticed that I'm getting a lot of positive feedback from my Lava Maze video. Which is great to hear. It was indeed a wall glitch to get there, but I really think, like, why would it be there still? Why is there, like, why is the volcano made like that? Like, I don't think that it was, like, made in, like, such a sloppy way where you can just walk through all of it. I don't think, I think it was made that way on purpose for us to find it. Or maybe not for us to find it. Maybe just for default to you to um, go through the walls and just reach the bottom where if he's hiding something down there. But not to get off topic from the Minecraft, but I'm just really happy that I got a lot of support from that. And I got a lot of subscribers for that video. I was really thankful for that. Yeah, so it's getting dark, so you should get ready. Should get ready for the mobs. There's a lot of water over here. Like, I don't need water in caves. It only slows me down. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful villager over there. Now, after looking at um, Uncreative, I was working on this with my friend Uncreative, and then um, he was surprised, too, to see a few things that are now on Pocket Edition. I might think it's cool to know there's potions and all these things, but one thing that would be really cool was, like, yes, potions are cool and stuff, and now there's witches and all those cool things, but one thing that would really impress me would be dual wielding. Like, if there would be a way you'd be able to dual wield things like a torch and a torch and a pickaxe, that would be really cool. 
who have found some gold. Can you mine gold with the stone pickaxe? I don't think so. No, you can't. Okay, so this seems like a good enough place to make a furnace. So I'm just gonna clear this out. Since this will be a little bright, safe spot. Now what I do a lot, like on computer or whenever I'm doing factions on a server or something, is that if there's a miner I'm knowing I'm gonna use and it's very big, ooh, look what I found. Found a secret. I think covering up all the things that aren't safe. But one thing that I learned is that like, if you create these little little these little outposts that you can use for um, mining if you're running away from a mob or something, but they're pretty cool if you have food or chests left over with some weapons in there or some crafting materials, that can very much save your life. Hmm, why can I... Why can I not craft the furnace? Do I need a crafting table to craft the furnace? Oh, well, yeah, you do. Yeah, because in your normal crafting inventory, you can only use four different things. Okay, so I'm going to put some coal in here. Wait, what would you do with this? What, what, what would that do? Like, this they shouldn't let you put coal in there at all. But, okay, so put in some iron. Put on some fuel. Yeah, I'm actually turning the iron ingots and then it'll make an iron pickaxe. That way we can mine this gold and stuff like that if we find any redstone too. Also, because I want to craft a compass, I should probably cover this if any mobs start coming in. Okay, got two pieces of iron. And all I need is one more piece. I mean, also, I don't want to get sidetracked too much. I just want to make sure that I have enough for a few things. Do I not have enough sticks, or wait? Yeah, I only have one stick. Okay, boom, iron pickaxe. Okay, now I can get the gold. Now I can make golden apples and stuff, but I'm probably going to leave the golden apples alone until um, I consider going to the nether. I'm going to take the fuel, take the input, but leave that there. I'm just going to leave a crafting table and a furnace down there. Just in case I get lost, you know, I can use that. Oh, and there's more iron up here, so like, I'm just walking around and then I find it to use what I got around me. Well, there's nothing here either. Yeah, I just like covering up places where I know there's nothing so that I don't get confused and think that this is a new place when it's not. Oh, so it helps a lot that way mobs just don't start coming at you. Here we go. So I think I'm already kind of getting lost. Wait, no, I'm not. Here's water up here that goes up there. And there's the bridges. Okay. Well, that's dangerous over here, too. I need to cover that up. Oh, my God. Look, why did this water stop here? That's weird, it's not doing anything. It's just wrapping itself around the lava. Oh yeah, that's dangerous. That definitely is dangerous. So I'm just gonna build a little bridge. Oh God, no, 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 no. Oh, 
Oh my god, I thought I was dead for sure. Then I would have lost all my items. That would have stink. Do you have anything to eat? Yeah, I do. I swear I selected cooked beef and then I thought it was gonna and then my character would try to eat gravel. Yes, we have some more cobblestone. I don't wanna block it out. There we go. That'll shut down the lava. Now one thing Minecraft needs to do is like if you cover up the lava, make it disappear instantly. Like, cause now fire is burning the wood for like no reason if lava was just removed, so yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, that was the dead end. No, this was it. This is, there's a lot of um places that just lead to nowhere. So I should cover I should cover it up as well. Cause it saves a lot of time. Yep, and the more you cover up the less chance you have getting lost. fall straight through so I mean that way's pretty useless too. Yeah, cover that up. But that way it doesn't really look like I want this way, so Man the water's slowing me down too. And when it came to the lava my character was just stuck. I need to cover up all those sources that are slowing me down. Let's go back to the main. And it's already turning more. But I'm not going to get it. Yeah. It's better than up there. Hang on. Whoa, oh my god. I'm feeling that even more. Okay. I'm going to place some torches. Going around. Man, my voice. It's like dying on me today. Another skeleton spider, they were ganging up on me right now. What would happen? I just placed the torch and then all the gravel started falling. I'm learning things. Cause you don't want to fall down there. Like, there are, eventually, I know that. I think the good thing about ravines is that 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 won't be the only way to get down there. There's always gonna be another. Hey, okay, here's some more iron. And I think I have enough for a helmet now. Yep, have enough for a helmet. I crafted a whole new iron pickaxe. Now, oh, but I really wish I would have found some redstone. Couldn't find redstone anywhere. Because redstone is near bedrock, I believe. And yeah, over here is also a dead end. So I'm going to collect some more cobblestone just so that I can cover it up. This is a strategy, I don't know, that I just, I haven't really used a lot until, um, I started this small series. And I like it. If you guys, if you guys like what I'm doing here, if you guys like my whole strategy with, uh, covering up the dead ends, please leave a like. And I know you guys are responding. Because I really like it when you guys respond to videos, because, I don't know, it makes me feel good. Makes you know people are listening and people want to respond and kind of see what type of what type of 
subscribe to them. You know, because if you don't, if you guys like, don't really like my strategy, or if I'm like, oh, they won't like this, or they won't like this, it really helps me choose what to do for this. Oh, well, it covered it up for me. There you go, like everything just falls apart on its own. Well, I'm ready to come back up. That's why character will even let myself come back up. I mean, I don't know how people who have been playing Pocket Edition for a very long time go up water. It's challenging for me to even get up water. Because it's hard because you jump up with this, and you move up with this. Now, is auto jumping an option? Because I know that that is for Minecraft settings. And I lagged out quite a bit right there, so. Use controller. Yeah, I can't, I can't really find it here. Let me see. Now it's cool that now they have resource packs. I think that's a really cool thing that they've done. Yeah, it has auto jump, but... Let's see, look at this. Oh, I know my character wants to jump up blocks, because it would only jump up dirt blocks. You also haven't seen how my animals are doing. I know I don't have a lot of animals. But here I have... A chicken... And another chicken. The three chicken eggs. Come on, let's test my luck. Oh, no, no chicken. I think the spawning chance for a baby chicken is 1 out of 16, whether it's PC or Pocket Edition. Soon, pigs. Soon you'll be inside my farm. Once they have a, a double door system, since you can't quite really fit through um, my one door. Sorry to tell you that. Okay, so yes, we finally have enough iron for gear for our helmet. And we got some bones, which the only use for bone bones to me is bone meal, so. If you need food, you can get food instantly. Hi pig. I really wish the pig made more noise. I actually would have really wished a lot of things. I wish that my recording would have worked for my series that I'm working on. My whole computer faction series. Because I tried recording it. It didn't work out really well. I got raided, which I recorded. But my base stayed intact. They didn't take anything except for what was in the chest, and I never didn't have anything valuable in the chest anyways. So, it was an ender chest. And my base was fine. And it was a really long video. I was trying to upload it to my flash drive, and it wouldn't upload to my flash drive. Okay, so, I got five pieces. That should be enough to craft a helmet. And boom, now we're fully geared out. Kind of looks really creepy, in my opinion. See, so, like, you guys need to see a full look of what my character looks like. So, third person. See, my character's wearing full iron armor. I, I believe it was a video. Third person front. See, here we go. Look at this. Oh, the person doesn't look the same anymore. Doesn't have his hat. I think the pig likes me a little bit more. See, just can't stop looking at me. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching this video. I finally have my helmet. 
I'll probably collect some more cobblestone off camera for my farm. And maybe try looking for some redstone. So, thank you everyone for watching this video. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.